<laughs> Hello, my name is Funtime Phantom Foxy, and welcome to Flatline. I feel like I said Flatline, kind of like just I don't know, softly. So I've tried recording this once. I didn't like it. I tried recording it again. I didn't like it. <laughs> you now this is within like a week span of each other. But now this is an even more updated version than was previous, so there should be an easier version. Hopefully. I don't know. Three months ago, a local establishment known as the Kids Dome closed down because of the disappearance of employee and due to the robots noticeably acting strange all the same day. This is why you need your help, Chief Investigator Georgia. We need you to do what no other has done. You need to find the missing employee, Peter Douglas. He's been accused of being held accountable for the five missing children. Therefore, he was brought back here for once. Only one more question remains for you. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe in the creepy puppet that's staring at me. That's what I believe in. <laughs> As it slowly fades away. <laughs> Convincing investigation. Let's do it. Episode 1. Where is Peter? Shouldn't... At first I keep thinking like... Shouldn't it be, who is Peter? But I get why it is. Where is Peter? Oh, that's cool. There wasn't a purple dot before. In the version I played, which was the, um, the official release version, that 1.0. Um, there wasn't a purple dot. So that's cool. Now you actually get to see where you're going. So here are the characters. These are just super freaky because it kind of looks like they don't like they just have tiny eyes, but they do clearly do have black ones. Um, it's pretty weird though. Like they don't look very family friendly. And people thought the original FNAF animatronics looked creepy. Yeah, those look even worse. Kids dome. Wow, oh, I thought it said kids D. <laughs> oh, this is a boarded up. It's boarded up back there. Some trash. Celebrate. You can faintly hear footsteps. I'll turn, I'll turn it up a little bit. Anyway, you can faintly hear footsteps. Okay, sorry. Sometimes I like to screw around with my game. I haven't done it in a while, so. It'd be cool if you could just click too. I don't understand why it's a key layout. Also notice how each one of these are a different color in each room. Also there's a fork there for some reason. What the hell is that? Looks like some weird like purple man puppet or something. Oh it looks like this. It's basically I think it's just this. I don't remember that in my original the brightness might have been turned up too. That might also have been a thing in an update that I missed. Is the chocolate cupcake or muffin? Purple good guitar, pink fork. Um, yeah, definitely that purple that definitely wasn't there. Um, Neo Metal Sonic or just Metal Sonic? Because that's clearly Metal Sonic. And I haven't gotten to A yet. What's an A? Alright, the Foxy. Basically, Foxy. Because there was even a, a thing in one of the updates that, like, Foxy now is it makes a noise. Which was in originally a thing, but apparently now it is. So yeah, am I going to the same room again? No, a different room with a different character. Looks like FNAF World. This is just no Splenda from Undertale or Tail Under, Tall Under, whatever that means. So I could move to the next objective. But I want to show off every room. There's not much to be see there. But would you like objective complete? Would you like to continue? Yes, I would like to continue. Commencing investigation. Wasn't we, weren't we already in commencing the investigation by entering the place and like medieval phone noise? And end the call. That's interesting. Oh, I get mute. Well, if there's anyone hearing this, uh, what the hell are you doing here? 
you heard the news, right? Missing employees and children all over the place. And at a birthday party, no less. Why would anyone want to come back here after all that happened? And because oh, there were things up there roaming the halls. Those animatronics. They're something else. I've seen them walking around on the camera sometimes. It's, it's scary, you know? They've even sometimes come around my area. Uh, to which I can only assume would be to, you know, harm me. I had once returned to this establishment <laughs> after its closing about a month after it. I was tasked with retrieving some company papers. Standard stuff, you know. After a while, I managed to install a fail Just in case I need to start banging on your doors. Essentially, some of them will appear on either side of your office. It's a shame, I know, but you're gonna have to deal with them. So here's how. Essentially, all you'll have to do is use the manipulation of the AI that I installed in order to get them away. But, uh, a funny thing is, I'm not guaranteeing they'll get sent right to the start again, but, hey, at least it works, right? It only works on the ones at the door, so, don't waste your time on other character. All I can say is, now that, since you're in that room, well, stay in there. Now the drill is, don't worry, this isn't like the last time. Robotic characters have to reset after every few hours or so. So when that happens, it'll give you a chance to escape. But please remember, it's very dangerous. <sighs> no, okay, whoever just talked to me is clearly insane. I mean, I don't know what else to say besides this is clearly FNAF World and that looks like Funtime Foxy. That looks like, uh, like... Ultimate custom night but with curtains. Looks like return to Freddy's Critical Okie okay, okie dokie I should be okay. I think I think I'm okay. I have no clue who just attacked, but apparently this is only four hours long. And whoever thought that that was child friendly, you need to fire them so fast. I mean, Bonnie looks a little bit more child friendly, but even he looks weird and creepy. Clearly, that's the arcade. <laughs> what the hell? Why is the arcade camera broken all of a sudden? Who needs the arcade camera when you have the exact same camera? Do it. Do it without question. Do it again. I feel like I died last. Like, cause my original playthrough of this, I died. Like, very early on. I think it's weird. It's like Camp 6 doesn't do it, but... I figured maybe if I double click the camera. This is definitely an interesting glitch. Hopefully there's nobody in the arcade I need to ever see. Also this is a is a duck, I think. It's a chicken. Or is it a duck? Who knows? Anyway, that thing's freaky. And it's a chef. You can't tell by its hat. And Let's cook. It's clearly chef. And if I remember correctly, that thing will haunt my dreams. I mean, it's literally just... That's literally what Chica does in FNAF 1. Just a little bit different. It's literally just Chica's FNAF 1 pose when in the party room. 
basically. I don't get how these are like Cam 1A can be. Like these rooms aren't even connected. It's like what a way to like <laughs> what a way to monitor the cameras. Just make them really random cameras. Of what exactly people are on. Yep. The arcade camera is still glitched. That didn't happen in the original. I wonder if like by fixing something else by fixing something the 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 cross broke the cameras. Or broke Cam 6. I won by clicking Cam 6. You've now access to the notes menu. Check back to see if additional notes and any additional notes be added. Continue. Uh, no, because I want to check the notes. Let's check the notes. Oh, that's not creepy at all. So far, there's no sign of the missing Peter Douglas. Though, I believe he may be behind the moving animatronics I've encountered. The way they looked through the cameras, it was almost unnerving, yet only vaguely familiar for whatever reason. I really believe it. I don't really believe in ghosts. But perhaps this night will change my thought process, since the door I entered is now locked for an unexplained reason. Now I need to find the root of all these mysteries. Thankfully, I have some kind of help from my from some of my old recordings done by a former employee here to explain what is going on here. Oh, that's just notes one. Is that like notes for night one? Or investigation one? Continue the case. Commencing investigation. Uh, mouse still around, right? Do. Uh, press space. Right, cause yeah, cause you can only. I don't. I've checked this before. Nothing else changes. Would you like to continue? Yeah. I don't know what is gonna be added to those notes within. <laughs> They're like, oh, I left my job. <laughs> I went to cam X and then I left. Find the key W to hide. Yeah, this. Is that the key? This is why I need a that was easy button. Because I, like, I've said this a hundred times, I need a that was easy button. I feel like I'm going to get this game done within this video. Because that's kind of what it feels like at the moment. Mini game in here, no mini game in here. Because I'm considering that a mini game. Was that literally all I needed to do tonight? Was literally just collect the key? Or can I actually leave? One of these cameras let me leave. I mean, it's just locations, but still. I feel like I might. Yeah, I did. Double you. Okay, I must just need to start the night then. That's all I can think of. Yeah, I do. Nice. Would I like to continue? Uh, no. I want to check my notes. See if there was anything added. Uh, I will not find all the root of the mysteries, thankfully. I have some kind of help in my own. Okay, so everything is the same. Got it. Time to have some more fun with this pretty hard thing. Because this is real. It's not that easy. Lay muff tech. Also, this looks like Mangle, but with like a little bit head on it. I'm just saying, this looks like Mangle a little bit. Little Mangle, or Mangle bit. You don't have any chance to escape, do you? Well, shit. I forgot to tell you. Uh, as the night progresses, you might need to face the others. <laughs> this man sounds insane. The others being like Foxy and those mannequins. They always gave him the creeps. Let's start with Foxy. He Man. resides in Bandit's Cove. 
because for some out. reason he's a bandit now, and because he's really sneaky, so he'll need to be watched a lot. The longer you watch him, the more he'll retreat back into his little hidey hole. Just thought I'd let you know, and then just, you know, rinse and repeat. You'll be fine, I promise. And, well, as for those, Manic, you'll need to pay attention to the ventilation system. They're kind of small. Get yes, I'm not just still don't worry. Also, this applies to the muffin and that thing. It's kind of weird right now. It was from some, some carnival, I think. I don't really know, to be honest. It, along with these two characters, were once like a pair together. But this one's more fucked up. They just kind of dropped it off and was like, Yeah, we don't have any instructions to build this, so have fun. So we just kind of mashed parts together and what you see is what you get. Other than that, it's your usual routine. Oh, also, there's a key in the kitchen. You might want to use it. Good luck. I already picked up the key. Thank you, buddy. But the key has already been picked up. I'm assuming I go to six. I'm assuming I go to six. Has Foxy left his hidey hole? Of these very blurry cameras, of what I can tell, he doesn't look like he's left his hidey hole. And I'm pretty sure this night is almost over. And there was a noise added to Foxy when he enters. Was at a user's request. Putting the to the developer. Um, but how do I'm going with the mannequins will make a noise, right? When they come in. Right? Am I not crazy for thinking like that? Is that not crazy thinking? Also, for the second shift, unless there's like three shifts or something like that, this is pretty dang active. I mean, this is like as active as it is. This is just as active as, um, um, Final Fantasy Club, or Six Nights at Zany Club. That I kind of didn't complete, so I kind of privated it, so. Unless I could beat it. I'll we'll never see the light of day. Or if I just give up. Oh, cool, I'm going to seven. Oh, it's like FNAF 6. Fuck it. Ooh, very scary. This is not going to be easy. Uh, block that one. Or block that one. I don't know what to do. I'm assuming Foxy. I don't need to worry about. I'm going to keep an eye on Foxy. I'm going to take a peek at Foxy. Oh. And the muffin got in. Exactly sure what the muffin will do to muffin. It probably it's probably like bloom boy or something. It probably knocks one of my pop things down, so I can't use it. Is that them being dealt with, or is that them getting in? 
Oh, it's up the... Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we're dealt with. Coolie, coolie, coolios. Great, you have to do that twice. At least though, it's a little bit less active. I have to give it that. I survived that somehow. Nah. We'll read the notes and we'll end the video. Things are getting relentless. One attempted to try to bite me in the forehead, but failed to collapse to the ground. I recognized one of those mascots from old carnival games. From old carnival three years ago. The name, the Mangle, seemed to be good enough name for this mess that it is. Now I need to find the source of that sound I just started hearing. Curiosity is destroying me. But I'm not. I'll save it for the next video. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this part, or part one, of Flatline. It is not called Five Nights at Something, which it normally is. It's like Glimmering Nights. It's by the same people that made Glimmering Nights. Same person that made Glimmering Nights in the Five Nights Afton series. I think they're all connected. Somehow, I think they're all somewhat connected. Also, I'm pretty sure that's the Freddy. That we can't see on stage. In any camp. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy this part, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!